Hello again, Ian Stuck with Mastermind Games. This time, painting a Viper from Relic Knights. 09047 fair skin to start. Don't need too much of that. Let's see if this little trick helps us focus faster. So. Vipers are black diamonds, black ops soldiers, heavily cybernetic, and that's about all there is to them. So, and outside of her face and her fingers, because she's got fingerless gloves on. There is not much in the way of skin showing. So. Oh, this is. Maybe I need to move my. Maybe I need to move my screen closer, rearrange some of my stuff here, but. All right, Templar Blue, 09056 is next. Hmm. A little bit of our trigger finger here in this dent. Pretty much just a bare bones body glove on underneath the jacket. Some of these panels I'll pick out in other colors as I get closer to finishing up, but we'll just go ahead and start all in the ash and blue here. It's kind of become my standard cloth color for black diamond. focus on her, but it's not looking out so good. I'm just going to have to keep trying until I get it right. <clears throat> And a member of the Relic Knights Facebook group I'm part of did suggest my hand to help the camera focus faster. It's working kind of, but it's turning into something I'm going to have to constantly do as well. Okay, that was weird. Camera just conked out on me. All right, so Marine Teal zero nine zero seven seven. All right, so the joys of technical difficulties strike again. 
Now my concept art for her has violet hair, but I've used a lot of that and I haven't used too terribly much of this. So <clears throat> And since it looks so well on CSM Alex 117, I'm going to take Black and Steel 09205. Kind of funny what sound this camera amplifies and which ones it doesn't. Okay, that's got that. Now I suppose I can try to start on her jacket. So pure black, 09037. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Almost took out the camera. Oh boy. I do not have a lot of room to work with with my uh, recording rig here. I have exactly one way I can have this rig set up, and that's to have the computer directly behind me with the work table in front. And yeah, that's about all there is to it now. This backpack's gonna be another color in the end, so I'm trying to avoid it for now, as well as the straps. But <laughs> All right. she's probably packing uh, mission specific equipment in that backpack of hers. My money's on explosives personally, but <laughs> Fighting me a bit. I swear I've seen a character in anime where the color scheme almost identical to what I'm doing here. <clears throat> but for the life of me, I can't think of who. Oh well. Fairly relevant, in all honesty. Okay. Gonna let that dry. And I should be able to finish up the last of the base coats when I come back. Okay, Let's see if I can get through this without any glitches. Cloudy Gray 09089. Let's go on straps and the base.
Yeah. Amazing how that little nick on my end is amplified to an ear splitting screech. So all I did was accidentally tap the camera with my brush. <laughs> Getting used to the way I need to position this model to work to keep her in camera, but there's still some getting used to. Some, there's still some things to get used to. Deep Red 09002. Oh my, that's too much. That went out erratically. It happens, but it's still frustrating. This is going to go on all of her pouches. And there's quite a few of these she's got on her person. The backpack. Brilliant Blue 09116, got the armor. Not that there's much of it on her, she's. But. Part of it. Shoulders on the jacket. And I think these are actually supposed to be gauntlets here, so we'll do those in darker blue. Except at that point, I think. Being able to have the camera in front of me is so much more comfortable than when I had to have it to the side of me. Knee pads. I'll call this bit on the ankle, which could just be where boots start a armor. In any case, it looked good to have a color differentiation there. And that laid up front. I think I'm starting to get out a little bit here, so I'm gonna have to hurry up. Back of the heel. Touch up this shoulder a bit here. Right on this pouch on her thigh. Take care of that now, real quick. And oh, where is it? Taking that Templar blue again. There's a piece on her body, so if I missed, I'll just take care of it right quick, right now. And my brush is running away from me. Okay, that's base coats. So let that dry completely and start shading. Okay, time to shade. I'm going to start with 
red brick 09001. area going to the lowest Zero nine one one five Ritter look blue. No, that little dot's probably going to be enough. Hoping I'd be able to do the rifle as well, but that's not going to work. So I'll just have to sell for the gauntlets, the knee pads. Ocean zero nine zero seven six. Try to get the rifle anyway. You know what? No, because it's going to have the same shader as the jacket, so I'll hold off on that. So, let that dry move on a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. Adamantium Black 09124. Jacket and rifle. going around the armor on her shoulders. I'm trying to get the collar without getting the hair or the shoulder. Going in here without getting the straps or the backpack. This is this just takes patience. Now 
Okay, that's got that. And yeah, nothing else I can really do. Yeah, I gotta hold off before doing anything else. I'm just gonna have to wait. Okay. Stormy Gray 0988. Trying to hold her as close to the camera as I can, but it's trickier than it looks. Okay. No, probably have to redo this base partially. Try to do the skin tone. Yeah, I'll try to do the skin tone. So, fair shadow zero nine zero four six. Which is plugged up, so paper clip it. That's just going to leave the blue of a bodysuit and I can start lighting effects. Okay, last shade. Braille and blue, 09055. trying to figure out how to do the focus thing. The suggestion of putting my hand up front works partially, but I think I can improvise something better with a little more oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ingenuity. I thought I'm, it's still very early in the morning. Last week was long. So Careful not to nick the gray or the red here.
Here's what's going to get a little tricky. It's because of the armor on the boot here. Okay, I think I got it. Looks like I lucked out and didn't mess with the gray so I can do the lighting effects and get the eyes started too. So 09039 pure white. So, lucked out. Oh boy, my brush goes flying. I got no grip today. Carefully dotting in the scolar. I think it's the scolar. I'd have to check. Then the barrel of a rifle. And then this panel on the gauntlet. I want lit as well. Filling in that channel on the base. Okay, once that's dry, I can get the pupils, or, yeah, get the pupils, finish the lighting effects, and then after that's dry, I can highlight and finish up. Okay, we're going to try something new. So, pure black, 09037. Uh, we're at least trying something new with this. Uh... Keeping a background in front of this. Carefully dotting in the pupils. What's kind of funny is the concept art for her in the book has a scowl on her face and a sparkling amethyst 09105, and yet the model it looks more like a wry smile. And then I got a plugged up nozzle here. All right, this happens. Eep. Just amount of water and just. I'm not sure if this is working better or worse yet, but mm -hmm. right, just let it flow. A little wet there still, but that'll be all right. Okay. And once she dries completely, then I can start on the next step. I'm still not sure this is looking better or worse, but well, to be fair, I can't make this any worse. <laughs>
All right, time to highlight. Fair highlight zero nine zero four eight. Not that one. Rush selection is important. You want a ratty one. And it's lightly dust after rubbing most of your pavement out onto a conveniently placed paper towel. Then Ash and Blue zero nine zero five seven. Concerning myself with the most readily available sur or readily visible surfaces, not available. Okay, next. Next, I'm going to select brushes to give this one a chance to dry. And misty gray zero nine zero nine zero. Looks like that lighting there wasn't quite dry enough. It happens though sometimes. This will be fine still. Next the jacket I think. So that's gonna be highlighted with pearl white 09100, which is a metallic white. This worked out well for Alex, CSM Alex Varnished Steel 09206. Okay, yeah. Can I adjust the light any? It's a little better. Might actually work best with none of this extra light, but if I cut the light, I can't really see what I'm doing very well.
and then how about Blood Red 09003? Just because I wanted to give her some extra color. So like I got a little of this on the part I didn't want, so just take that ash and blue real quick and touch that up. Got it. And cyan blue zero nine uh, one one seven. Don't need too terribly much of this to do what I need to do with her. Go ahead and swap brushes again to give the other two a chance to dry off. Zero nine zero seven eight surf aqua. And going against the grain, to use a woodworking term, will help. So that means going against the ridges instead of with them. Okay. That's highlights. And I just got one more thing to do. Gonna get a little more sparkling amethyst. Zero nine, uh, what is it? Zero nine one zero five. Got kind of a beat up label on this one. Okay, this is an older pot. I'm probably gonna have to make sure to replace it soon. Taking a flat headed brush. And round heads is what I usually use, but this is a step that requires something a little different.
Okay. And that is it. And Viper from Black Diamond. So, got uh, quite a bit of Monster Apocalypse coming up. And a lot of Malifaux. So, this is the last Relic Knights model I'm going to have for the foreseeable future. So, until next time, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing off.